Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about what happened in 34,000 BC, before Common Era. So now let's get straight to it. The development of clothing is an exclusively human characteristic and a feature of human societies. In many cultures, clothing represented the social status of various members. The clothing across ages allows insights into the ancient societies and reflects the varying development of civilizations and technologies. Did you know that the earliest people to wear clothing were not early modern Homo sapiens? It is believed that the clothing may have first been adopted by the Neanderthals. In the beginning, clothing would have been very basic. Materials such as animal skins and leaves was used to protect their bodies from harsh environment. Later on, our early ancestors discovered the advantage of woven fabric. They can be shaped closer to the body for better insulation and are more breathable and easier to dry than fur. The oldest fibers known to be used by human was flax fibers dated to 34,000 BC. The discovery suggests that man-made textiles were created as early as the Paleolithic era. In September 2009, a team of researchers and experts from the United States Israel and the Republic of Georgia examined clay retrieved from the Zizuana cave. The cave is located in the western region of Georgia, about 200 kilometers from the capital city of Tbilisi. Embedded in the clay were flax fibers that were more than 34,000 years old. The discovery surprised the researchers. Previously, the oldest known were imprints of fibers on clay objects dated back 28,000 years, found in Dolny Vestanese in the Moravia area of Czech Republic. The fibers from the cave showed evidence of modification. Out of 488 flax fibers, 13 had been spun, and 58 had been dyed black, gray, turquoise, and pink. This proved that early modern humans had been making fabric in a sophisticated manner far earlier than initially thought. According to the researchers, the flax, which would have been collected from the wild and not farmed, could have been used to make linen and thread. This was a critical invention for early humans. The fibers might be used to create parts of clothing and shoes to create the warmth necessary to endure cold weather. Also, they might have been used to make ropes, cords, or baskets for carrying essentials. This would have increased chances of survival and mobility of hunter-gatherer society that are constantly moving around. The spinning of fibers into cord could have played a crucial role in human development. They may have helped modern humans displace the Neanderthals from Europe in just a few thousand years. Did you know that flax held a special place in certain ancient cultures? In ancient Egypt, linen was used for mummification and for burial shrouds because it symbolized light and purity. Linen was so valued in ancient Egypt that it was a symbol of wealth and used as currency in some cases. In ancient Mesopotamia, linen was reserved for higher classes. It was expensive because the flax plant requires a lot of attention during cultivation, and it was always difficult to work with the thread. In European medieval times, linen fabric was widely used for everyday products such as clothing, sacks, bedsheets, ropes, bags and purses. It was also a popular belief at that time that flax offered some protective powers as flax flowers guarded against witchcraft, black magic and sorcery. These days, clothes are made from various materials. These include traditional materials such as linen, cotton and leather, as well as synthetic material like polyester, nylon, and polypropylene. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.